Are you looking for some creative ways to use quilt panels? Let Three Yard Quilts be your solution. Keep, Keep watching. watching. Hi, it's Fran Morgan. And Donna Robertson with Fabric Cafe. And today we have a great video for everyone. We've got some super solutions for you for using those fabric panels. And you know, we've had lots of people ask a question. So let's get started. Let's get started. Let's check out the first quilt. Our very first quilt is called the Landslide, and this one works so well for your panels because it has a nice block right here. And then it has these um, half square triangle blocks alternated with that block just to give us some interest and some movement. So let's check out how we're gonna use that with a panel. So our very first quilt kit for you to use Landslide are these absolutely darling safari animals. Now I'm gonna open up the panel just a little bit so that you can see all of these really cute little guys. Now the panel for this kit actually has 12 blocks. And as you can see, we have hippopotamus and monkeys and giraffes and lions on the other side and elephants and zebras. It's so cute. It's just- <gasps> Oh a, my. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So it is absolutely darling. Now the panel will come with 12 different block animals here. And that is exactly what you will need for the landslide pattern. So we're gonna cut the uh, block out of the animal squares and it'll go here in this main portion. It will be acting as your focus fabric or your fabric number one. Then our fabric number two is this fun yellow and it is gonna go in the half square triangle everywhere you see this dot here and on the border. And then we have a great stripe and I just love how it picks up all the colors of the animals. And it will be also in the half square triangle block, um, giving it a lot of movement and on the border and on the binding. And I love it oh, when there's a stripe on the binding. I do too, it looks so cool. <laughs> it is so, so much fun. Now, before we get into the quilt information and the kit information, I'd like to take just a minute and step through how we're gonna place the fabric squares and get them cut because I know that sometimes that's the trick is getting it all just so. So I'm gonna move this over here and I have a little bit of step outs. Now as you saw whenever I opened up that panel fabric, there are three rows of squares and there's four squares in each row. So I have, all I've done is cut one row off of the fabric that you'll receive in your kit. And as you can see here, we have all kinds of our little animals here, just super cute. And what I have done is cut right in the center between the two panels. So you'll just have to measure your space between your panel and cut right in the middle. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our large square and our rotary cutter. Would you mind handing that to me? Thank you. Okay, so we're gonna work on our little monkey here. And for the landslide pattern, we need to cut the block nine and a half inches. And so what we're gonna do is first, we're gonna kind of measure just this outside edge. And it looks like we have an eight and a half inch border on our, our block here. Mm -hmm. So I need a nine and a half. So I am going to move my square until I can see. So here is my nine and a half. And then it's going through the center. You see my middle line here? Let's get this all squared up here. So this is nine and a half. So I have a half an inch on each side of that blue line. Mm -hmm. So that's nice and that'll put my monkey nice and centered in my block. And then I'm just gonna kind of trim this up. I'm gonna do this side as well. And then I am gonna turn it. Now we're gonna, you would square this one next. I'm gonna hand that to you. I'm gonna turn this. and kind of move this over. Let me get this a little straight. Now I'm gonna put my nine and a half line of my ruler on this edge and the bottom edge here. And then we can see how nice and straight that line is here and here. And that goes through the corners. Yes. Perfectly. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and we're talking about these corners right here, how it goes through the block. Right, so that, that line on the ruler, right on that mm -hmm. corner. Thank you for pointing that out because I do, really watch that so that the monkey isn't cockeyed in the square. <laughs> right. So good tip. All right, now we're gonna just trim this up. And then you would continue with the, uh, the other um, animal blocks the same exact way. 
So this little guy, he would go here. And of course our seam allowance is on that. And then I have some uh, of the half square triangle blocks. Now, these are so, so cute. So let me do it this way. That's the wrong way. It'll go like this. And then this one will go like this. This is gonna be so cute. Now, when you do your half square triangle blocks, don't forget that your stripe is a directional fabric. And so just kind of watch out for that whenever you're positioning the blocks in the quilt to make sure that they're all going the same direction. I prefer mine to all go vertical. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I almost said horizontal. Always go vertical. So I really prefer that. And it gives a nice consistency throughout the entire quilt. Now, That's what's really cool. cool is we have a delightful image on the screen for you. And you'll be able to see how great that looks uh, once it's all made up. And this process of just squaring up your, your panel squares and everything pretty much is consistent through all the quilts that we're gonna show you today. And it's a really good tip to realize that whenever you're picking out a panel, let's say you've got a panel in your stash, that you measure that panel to make sure that it works with the landslide. In this case, right. you could have probably gotten a 10 inch block that's if you true. wanted to use a different three yard quilt pattern. This one in particular needed that nine, and, nine and, a half. and a half. And this panel worked perfectly for that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So let's look at that kit information. Number is 8022448. It is called Safari Smiles. It is the landslide pattern. And that is in the book Quilts in the Jiffy. It's only in the book Quilts in the Jiffy. Now our alternate pattern that we are recommending is City Lights. And just want to make a quick little note on the City Lights pattern. The corner blocks on City Lights are cut out of the fabric number one, but there is plenty to do that out of fabric number two and would look equally as good. So just kind of make a note of that and keep that in mind if you choose the City Lights pattern. So we have something else great using landslide? Absolutely. Now, one of the things that I want to point out is how important it is for if you fall in love with one of these fabrics that you go check it out right away at fabriccafe.com. Because when we do these tutorials, we might not be able to obtain a large quantity of fabric and we want you to have first dibs if you fall in love with something. Yes, absolutely. All right, so what if you wanted to go ahead and make landslide in a similar type uh, manner with some cute little animals, oh, thank you. but you don't have a panel? Well, we have another kit and this one is equally absolutely adorable. And we used the number two and three fabric which was used with the panel, we just selected a different animal fabric. Isn't and this that cute? is cute too. <laughs> I know, I thought it was adorable. So rather than those big faces, these have some little faces, but it will look Aww. really cute when you cut your blocks and put them into uh, the number one position. They're going to be adorable. And then you're going to uh, use your number two in the number two position, the number three here. So this block is going to be identical. You're just substituting a panel for this cute little fabric. And this one is called Sweet Safari, 8022449. And this pattern is called Landslide. It's from the book Quilts in a Jiffy. And an alternative pattern would be the City Lights. So cute, I think that will be so darling as well. I love this one. Yeah, so we have another great quilt here that we can use for panels, which is awesome. It is called Bold Blocks, and we have this nice block here, and then just some border patterns that's kind of alternated that gives it that little juxtaposition so that they're alternating a little bit. It's pretty fun. So let's put that on the table and see the panel that we've got for you on this one. So I just think this is so much fun. Now, I like Halloween. Mm -hmm. And Blake, when, whenever my son Blake was little, he loved Halloween. <laughs> his birthday is in September and I always made him wait till after his birthday to do Halloween decorations. But once his birthday hit, oh my gosh, it all came out. And this quilt is just perfect for Halloween. I just love it. Now this is a panel that has the same number of blocks on it. It'll have 12 blocks, which is exactly what you need for our bolt block pattern. So all these little, uh, pieces here will be cut out and put in this position here. Now our number two fabric is this fun black and white X's, which I think works so beautifully. It was gorgeous <laughs> together. So much fun. And this is gonna be everywhere the red is. 
And then we have this fun orange spider web. Don't you just love that? I do love that. <laughs> and that is gonna go everywhere on this little piece here and the borders here. So, so cute. Now we have an image on the screen for you showing you how absolutely darling this quilt turned out. And it shows you all the blocks that you'll be able to uh, that are on the panel mm -hmm. so that you can see everything that you're getting there and the witches are just so much fun and just makes me giggle whenever I see them. And what's really great about this particular one is that the bold blocks pattern has a 10 and a half inch block. That's how big we're cutting them. And there's plenty of room here. So you could actually do a quilt all the way up to a 10 and a half inch block or even that nine and a half if mm -hmm. you have a pattern that you prefer to use for that. So it works out really well. It does. Really, that, really I'm so well. glad that they're producing those panels that way. It makes yes. it easier to use with three yard quilts. It does. <laughs> it's perfect. And three yard quilts are perfect for these. So let's get the kit information here. Uh, the witching hour is what this one is called. And the number is 8022450. Pattern is bold blocks, which is available in the pretty darn quick book or also as an individual. Now this one is cute too. So if you don't have a panel, then you can use some cool Halloween yes. uh, fabric Aww. and make it look equally as cute. I love so this. Fun. You know, what would Halloween be without these um, adorable black kitties? I mean, oh. I just feel that way. Um, I think one of my favorite kitties ever was whenever I had Jackie, who was a, a sweet black kitty. Now this will be in our number one spot. So you'll cut those 10 and a half inch mm -hmm. blocks out of the num for the number one spot. And then you're gonna use this yellow in the background where the red is. It's really going to make it pop. When you divide that by putting the black polka dot on the edges of that yeah, block. Uh, fun. And this is a fun one because as many of our viewers know, I love stripes in the borders <laughs> and you're actually gonna get two places where these uh, stripes are gonna go like that. Love it. And you'll have a third place because they're going to go like that here. It's perfect every Love single it. time. It adds so much fun and character to it, I think. Yeah, and a lot of movement uh -huh. in the right way. Yes. <laughs> All right, so this one is called Jack and Cat. It's 8022451. Bold Blocks is the pattern, and it's from the book pretty darn quick. So we have a very special announcement next, and we've put together something really fun for you to watch. All right, team. Operation Houston is a go. Status reports. Trucks are fueled and ready to go. Kits are prepped and ready to roll. We're actually binding the last quilts now. Yeah, literally as we speak. For the last time. Option A, option B. Is there an option C? <sighs> Books and patterns are packed and our top secret project is at the printer. Whoa. Great, everything is on schedule. All we need now is you to join us for the International Quilt Festival in Houston, November 3rd through 6th. See, See you there. there. Now, I hope you enjoyed that as much as we did. And we are so excited about going to Houston and seeing everyone. Wow, oh, I am so excited. Oh, and I've missed everyone so much and being able to visit with you. So come by and see us, be sure to do that. So let's look at our next quilt pattern. Our next pattern is Roman Holiday. And this one is one of my favorite patterns. I love how we've got this block here that has this darker joining little rectangle here that joins these nice big blocks. And it's just so much fun. So let's put it on the table and see what kit we have for you on this one. So this is so sweet. It is. <laughs> it's hard to look at this and go, not go, aww. <laughs> but we have some of these really fun. Can I open this up just a little bit? Oh, absolutely. Because I just really love all of these. They're very positive sayings here. And they're all of these really soft tones with this super cute animals. And I just love them. Oh, I love so. the kangaroo. Oh, how oh, sweet is and, that? And her little roo. Uh huh. Say <laughs> so what that's called. <laughs> little roo is fine. Uh, 
So Do you just, know the name of a baby kangaroo? It's really special. Put it, it in the comments if you know. Yeah, I actually don't know, so I would love to know. So this is so sweet, and once again, you do have 12 blocks that we can use in the pattern in our mm -hmm. Roman holiday, and you'll trim these blocks up, and they will go everywhere this black is here. So we have this great polka dot here, and the dots are all multicolored, which picks up all of the colors in the blocks, which I like so much. And that is gonna go everywhere the white is here. And then we have this kind of great green that picks up all the greens in here, which I think is really nice. And it has just a little bit of movement in it. And that is gonna go everywhere this little uh, part is here in the block and then on the border as well. So just super, super cute. Now we do have an image on the screen for you that you can see and you can see just how adorable that goes together. Just absolutely love it. I think it's the sweetest quilt. It'd be such a great gift for a friend that needs some encouragement, I think. And that kit information is 8022452. It is called Aussie Friends. And it is our Roman holiday pattern from the book, Quick as a Wink. But our alternate pattern is Garden Path. Now, for those of you taking the alternate pattern, just want to mention again, for that pattern, you will also need to cut your corner blocks out of your number two fabric. Right. So very simple to do. So we have something else wonderful. Oh, absolutely. So for those of you who don't have the panel and would like to have an alternative, we picked this beautiful oh, print. I love this. This is so pretty. It's, it's nice because it has that blues, the blues and the greens, which of course are my favorites. Mm -hmm. And so uh, you'll find this will be awesome in here. You're gonna put this in this block. And then you're going to put the, the cool uh, gray print in the background here. And I love this. It, it's kind of a botanical looking print. It is, it has all these mm -hmm. little animals in it and butterflies and moths. how pretty. And look how well it goes with oh, the number one. Isn't that cool? Now that's gonna be going in this section here mm -hmm. so that it will uh, create that secondary block. And this is a super easy block to do. Yes. So this one, uh, the kit is called Nature's Journey. It's 8022453. Roman Holiday is the pattern we're recommending from the book, Quick as a Wink. If you do not have that book, then you can use the alternate pattern, Garden Path. But please remember, you can get a book free whenever you purchase any of our three kits. And you just skip the individual pattern and you get eight patterns written in three sizes. That's a great deal. It is. And this was fun. And I love how easy it is to use three yard quilts with panels. Absolutely. I do too. So <laughs> thanks for watching. Thank you.